Well, good morning and welcome to the Friday edition here at Daryl Lorette Cafe. I'm your host, Daryl Lorette. Well, as usual, I just came from the kitchen, just fixed myself a bowl of oatmeal and a chopped banana and a cup of black tea. Now, yesterday I had to go to the eye doctor and had a bit of a weird bus trip. It was like uh, an episode of the Twilight Zone. So I'm on the bus and I'm going downtown and uh, the bus service here in the city is a little uh, filled to capacity you might say. It's hard to get on the bus and not find it filled with people all the time. There's women with strollers and kids there's uh, elderly people with walkers, wheelchairs. I mean, there's everything on the bus except the kitchen sink. So it's a little crazy trying to get a bus ride downtown and back. Sometimes going back is not as bad, but getting downtown always seems to be a bit of a hassle because the bus is always full of people and it's hard to, uh, if you don't sit down, you wind up holding on to a railing like some sort of monkey in a tree and the bus driver's driving like a kamikaze and you're hanging on for dear life. So as I approach my stop, I don't wait for the bus driver to stop first before I get up and get off the bus because there's a crowd of people in my way and I've got to excuse me, excuse me and so on and so forth in order to get off the bus. So I don't wait for the bus to stop before I uh, get off the bus because it's just by the time, and these bus drivers don't wait for you to uh, get up and get to the door to get off the bus before, in a lot of cases, before you can get to the, the door to get off the bus, they're taking off to the next stop. So it's kind of like a survival of the fittest on the bus, you know. So, okay, we get downtown and I'm coming to my stop before the bus stops I get up because I know the bus driver if I don't get to that back door before he stops He's going to probably take off on me. And I'm going to be wind up uh, down at the back door yelling, Can I get off the bus, please, for Christ's sake? Or something along those lines. Anyway, so uh, as I get up, I'm uh, confronted by this woman with her hand clutching a bar like her life depended upon it, blocking my way. And uh, by the time I see her there, I am trying to push my way through to get to the back door and she says to me why don't you wait for the bus to stop and it's like I don't even know where she's coming from because you know from my experience if I did that by the time I got to the back door the guy would be taken off to the next stop so I'm saying to myself to hell with that and so I just pushed my way through uh, in order to get to the bus uh, to the to the back to the back door and because there's people there you know maybe I'm being a bit of a jerk who cares I mean it's a uh, it's a bus full of people and the only way to get off the bus is to excuse yourself as you walk by people and if they don't get out of the way you start hitting people that's pretty much what you got to do to get off the bus it's almost like you got on the bus and now you're trapped and they're not gonna let you off anymore until you ride to the bitter end and then they throw you off the bus because hey man you missed your stop what are you doing still on the bus you know it's just a crazy game these people are playing and it's mainly I think the bus driver they're not they're not uh, doing their jobs they're not uh, they're not running the bus the way it should be run you know the people are total it's total anarchy on these buses so, you know, and then I finally pass this other guy who seems to be also clutching onto a uh, uh, a railing or a uh, pole 
for dear life and uh, I pass him and by the time I get off the bus I hear some guy and I assume it was the guy who I passed say, say to me something to the effect uh, you know watch where you're going uh, yeah you know he called me some name I can't remember exactly what it was right now because I'm uh, deep in into the story here so as I get off the bus I am really um, really surprised at somebody calling me a name on the bus because I'm trying to get off the bus and so just out of uh, instinct or whatever I yell out why don't you get out of the fucking way which I never say to anybody ever you know so this comes out of my mouth and it's like where in God's name did that come from because I've never said that to anybody in my life and so I get off the bus and I go to the lights and the bus is waiting for the light to change and I cross the street because I'm running a little late I've got maybe 10 minutes to get to the doctors the eye doctors and uh, I don't want to be late for my appointment So I finally get to the eye doctor's office, which is just a couple of minutes up the street, just a quick little walk. You know, I go in there and I meet the receptionist, tell her I got an appointment for such and such a time, and uh, then I pretty much just sit down and wait. And that's pretty much it. So that was uh, my uh, extremely strange twilight episode-like morning yesterday. And, uh, you know, I don't know why uh, it happened. It, it, it just did. And all I can try to do is kind of reflect on it and think to myself, gee, what did I do wrong yesterday to uh, ha have to deal with that kind of uh, confrontation on a bus full of people? Anyway, oh, well, you know, I'm glad I got that off my chest. I'm almost uh, realizing why I used to always walk downtown and back, even though it was like a 45-minute walk to get downtown and another 45-minute walk to get back home again. It's almost uh, not worth taking the bus. It takes, say, a round trip uh, takes you an hour to get downtown and back. All you uh, to walk downtown and back takes you an extra half hour, and you save five bucks. I almost want to start walking downtown again. Well, I was going to go out today and do some shopping. I need some new clothes and whatnot, and uh, the weather outside is kind of frightful. And in here is rather delightful, so I think I'm going to stay in today and relax and. Uh, try to recuperate from the last couple of days. I've been uh, a little busy. Busy enough that I need to take a day off. And hopefully this uh, weather will clear up. It's rain and rain and more rain. So anyway, I think I'm just going to finish my oatmeal here and uh, maybe go back to bed and have a nap. So that's it for that's it for me for today. I'm still half asleep, I guess. I've been up for at least a couple of hours and I'm still groggy. So that's it for me this morning here at Daryl Lorette Cafe. I'm your host as always, Daryl Lorette. Till next time, hey, it's Friday. Be grateful. Tomorrow's the weekend and you, hopefully you, you'll have a couple of days off. Okay, we'll see you next time. Take care and have fun.